Hi, I'm Heather from SpiroGraphicArt.com. In this video, I'm going to show some things you can do with the oval wheel inside uh, Spirograph ring number 150 over 105. Football eye oval, whatever you call it, it has two pointy ends and flat sides, and it has holes in different places. You can see there are holes lined up from one pointy end, and there are also holes along the flat side, and then there are these other holes which are asymmetrically located on the wheel. Here are the numbers associated with each of the holes. First, let's look at the flat side of the oval wheel. So here I'm lining up the holes that are in the middle of the flat side of the wheel with a mark on the ring. So I'll put the pen into the hole closest to the edge of the wheel and draw the pattern. Because it's oval, it's not as smooth as using a round wheel. It wants to go really fast and then you have to like climb a hill to get it up over the hump. This design has seven points. Now we use the hole right behind it. It's still symmetrical to the axis of the wheel and you can see that it also makes a different design from what you would get with a round wheel. Now let's try the holes that point towards the pointy end of the wheel. And you can see it's a very different design. It makes a kind of heart-shaped design, and we'll speed this up just to make the video shorter and so you can get out there and try it yourself. So you see those heart shapes that it's making, seven heart shapes in a circle. That can make nice Valentine's designs. Let's try the second hole. So it's also making heart-shaped designs, but they're fatter and they make an interesting combination with the pattern from the first hole. So here's the result of those three holes that you would use, one, two, three, or if you use five holes, you get a pattern like this. Here's a variation with different colors of blue. Now let's look at the asymmetric asymmetricals, not the ones along an axis of symmetry on the wheel. So now we'll try this hole. And you'll see it makes an asymmetric design, and it looks like it has a little foot. Each point looks like a foot with a toe and a heel. With this particular hole, the design crosses itself right in the middle, making a very pleasing pinwheel design. I like that. So that's hole number 11. You could take hole number 11 and draw it three times with three different colors, move it over uh, each time and come up with a very pretty design. Now let's look at this hole. And again, you get the toe and the heel in the design, but they don't cross in the middle like hole 11, but they make a pinwheel, a seven pointed pinwheel. Hole number eight. And you can play with that design. So now let's look at another hole. This hole is closer to the pointy end. So you can see that the little feet are smaller, but you can still see the toe and the heel, like a sock that you've been wearing. So hole number 13. Here's a design I made with four different colors and hole number 13 and shifting over two teeth each time. Now some interesting things can happen if you flip the wheel over. You notice what we have here is an asymmetrical design, but if we flip the wheel over, we'll get a sort of the mirror image of this design. So let's see how that works together. Flip it over and then draw the design with the same hole as you did last time and see what happens. Can you see the symmetry forming here now? This is not a design you could get with the round wheels. It looks a lot like a, it's a nice flower design. So there, hole 13, draw it once, flip the wheel over, and how you align the toe will influence what kind of effect you get. So remember which hole you were using, and then you choose where to line it up, and you can get different effects depending on how you line up the toes.
So these are all with whole 12 flipped over and drawn again. So you can experiment with that. Here again, hole number 8 produces this design. But if you line up the toes and draw another one with the wheel flipped over, you get something like this. Hole 10 does something like this when you do the same thing. Here's another variation. Holes 7, 9, 11, and 13. This is starting with the hole on the flat side of the wheel and then the other ones, 9, 11, and 13. Just keep the holes lined up in the same place and you get something like this. Or you can move them over each time, line them up and then shift them over and you'll get different effects. So there are some things you can do with the oval wheel in the Spirograph set. Hope you try this and have some fun and make your own designs. Experiment with colors and flipping the wheel over and using different holes and lining them up differently. If you haven't already subscribed, do so and you'll get notifications from YouTube about other videos I make. And visit the website at spirographicart.com.